Let's have an overview of group policy tools and consoles. The most basic component of group policy is an individual policy setting. An individual policy setting is also known as a policy. The policy defines a specific configuration change that you can apply, such as policy setting that prevents a user from accessing registry editing tools. If you define that policy setting and then apply it to the user, the user will be unable to run tools such as regedit.exe. It's important to know that some settings affect a user. These settings are called user configuration settings or user policies. And some settings affect the computer. These settings are called computer configuration settings or computer policies. Group policy manages various policy settings and the group policy framework is extensible. In the end, you can manage just about any configurable setting with group policy. In the group policy management editor window, you can define a policy setting by double-clicking it. The policy setting properties dialog box appears. Policy settings in the area called administrative templates. And they can have three states. Not configured, enabled and disabled. In a new GPO, every policy setting defaults to not configured. This means that the GPO does not modify the existing configuration of the particular setting for a user or computer. If you enable or disable the policy setting, a change is made to the configuration of users and computers to which the GPO is applied. When you return an administrative template setting to its not configured value, you return it to its default value. Some settings remain configured on the computer even if you remove the setting from the GPO. The effect of the change depends on the policy setting. For example, if you enable the prevent access to registry editing tools policy setting. Users are unable to open the registry editor, regedit. If you disable the policy setting, you ensure that users can open the registry editor. Notice the double negative in the policy setting example. You disable a policy that prevents an action. Therefore, you allow the action. Some policy settings bundle several configurations into one policy and this might require additional parameters. Many policy settings are complex, and the effect of enabling or disabling them might not be obvious. Furthermore, some policy settings affect on certain versions of the Windows operating system. Be sure to review a policy settings explanatory text in the Group Policy Management Editor window, or on the Explain tab in the Policy Settings Properties dialog box. Additionally, always test the effects of a policy setting and its interactions with other policy settings before deploying a change in your production environment.